Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to create a file using the JMeter. So first, uh, to create a file, so uh, I'm giving task in complete this site, uh, where we have a code uh, for uh, creating a file in JMeter. So uh, first, we will create a file in task in complete search, page, search box. So we got this code for creating a file in JMeter. So once we have that, uh, go to the uh, step what we are saying here. So copy paste the below code and symbol script before I post process. So I'm copying the file, I'm copying this this code into a Bing Cell Sampler. Uh, first I'm creating a Bing group. And next I'm creating a, taking a Bing Cell Sampler or I'll take a JSR to the Sampler. I'm testing it and um, as it's a Java language, I'm creating a Java here. And uh, here we're creating a file name as a file.csv and we are getting a variable name here. So currently we don't have any variable name. Uh, for that, what I will do is uh, we'll add a config uh, element, config element uh, from the CSV. Uh, we'll add a CSV here. Uh, we'll add a CSV here uh, to the details of uh, We will have it. Yeah, we have two for two reports here. So I'm taking uh, uh, open with all that process. So full file part of report, copy it and paste it here. Now we have two variables here. Uh, user comma pass so okay i'll take and two now uh my variable name is should be user so user uh variable name will be user uh now uh, uh, uh I'm saving it as a create file. Create file. Save. Yeah, right. now I saved it. Uh, now my test site, I have a two records. Uh, test user. So I'll make it one of the test one. So you got the file will be changed. And uh, I have not mentioned any path here to, to save the file. So by default, that will be saved in the bin folder of Jmeter. Bin folder of the Jmeter. So first I'm seeing, searching for the file.csc. So I don't I don't have any file with uh, file start with uh, uh, file. So now uh, let's run the script. I'm running the script. So I'm running it for two iterations. Oh sorry, I'm running it for two iterations now. Uh, so basically, what uh, in the code is like first I'm registering a uh, buffer reader, buffer writer, and the file writer uh, taking the file name. Uh, getting the values from the Brinjal uh, uh, or Jmeter script and adding that into data file, uh, data uh, string variable. Then creating the file, uh, the file what we uh, given in the line number 8. So if you don't have the file already created, then it will create a new file. Uh, then it will append the data to the existing file. So if you want to create a file every time, then you need to make this as a box. Uh, not the new file every time. So if you want to update the file on every iteration, uh, if you make it false, if you make this as a false, on every iteration, it will update, it will write the data, it will, you will have the data only what it was executed in the previous iteration. So it will not append, it will uh, overwrite the previous data. It will make it this false. So now I am using user only one variable. So if you want to add another variable, another value also, then I am adding this. So I am adding comma again there. Comma uh, to my CSV file and the word another variable name password. So I will take the password here and I will paste, I will pay, I will paste the value here. Yeah, this is a variable. Now let's run it. Uh, it started. It started five seconds. It's completed. So we don't have any errors now. 
and now go to the bin folder and see for the file see for the file that we have a file with the file name we have a file with the file name yeah go to the file we got it so here as we added a new line here added a new line so we got a new line here so this is how we need to use uh, our uh, uh, i mean uh, we can use the uh, file creation from the uh, example showing in tasking complete so this is the right thing which is, which is working fine for me uh, tasking complete.com code for creating a file in a generator uh, thanks for listening this way please uh, subscribe and share this video